Today I'm going to show you how you can use the new Guardian beacons to get access to the Guardian Vessel Blueprint segments, which you need to unlock the new Guardian Fighters. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Elite Dangerous with Down to Earth Astronomy. We're taking a look at the new Guardian beacons added in the latest update, and I'm going to show you the step by step what you need to get access to this. Now, it's not as simple as it was with the previous bases, where you just went down, you powered up some uh, some pylons, and then you scanned the orb, and you were pretty much done. I have a video on that, I'm going to try to link that in the more info icon. This is a little bit more complicated. The first thing you need to do is to need to find a Pythagoric beacon. And there is one here in the system Sunofe KU-F space B44-4. Put that in the description so you can uh, can just copy paste from there. And if you can see here, this is one of the old um, bases that's in, in this location here. And we are about the 800 light years outside the bubble. So it is a little bit of a, uh, of a journey out here. But as soon as you arrive in system, you can see here on your navigation panel that there is this Guardian Beacon. So of course, we are going to make our way towards that. And you guys can join me out there. And here we are, and you can see as soon as you move in close, I think within two kilometers, these arms attached to the side of it, they begin to move out and they activate. Now, if we move close to these arms, you might see here on the radar that some, uh, some targetable uh, objects popped up. And these pylons, you need to shoot these. Now, it seems like energy weapons, uh, you have to have energy weapons at some sort. Um, at least... Uh, AX multi, we've tried with AX multi cannons, that didn't work. But uh, what I've just done is I just have a fighter with me, which I have with me anyway for for recording. So I'm just going to get out for that because it has some uh, some lasers. Either get your ship weapon, use a fighter, doesn't really matter. Shoot the small orbs, and there we go. It recharges, it unfolds, the small beam of light turns on, and you should now see that that thing is active due to all the light. And you basically have to fly around and charge all three of them. And that should be the last one, now charged. Once this is fully charged, you will see this whole structure begin to, uh, to unfold, which we're just going to wait for it to do. And out of the middle comes, of course, an orb, which looks very similar to what we already know. But I don't believe that, uh, that the fighter has a data link scanner, so I'll have to get back into my ship so we can scan the orb. So, target up, and we're going to scan it with the data link scanner. There we go, it turns off. And now we need to head down to the other end of the structure, compared to where the orb is. We'll see everything begins to fold back in. I mean, I really must get, give some credit to the uh, to the Frontier graphical team, or whoever do the these kind of, uh, of things. They do look really, really awesome. Boom, and there you have it. From the bottom, spawns an ancient key. Now these can be a little difficult if you're on a bigger ship like an anaconda to actually pick up because they're kind of in between these uh, small spikes so it can be difficult to get your cargo hatch in there so you might have to go in and kind of bob it out but if you're on a smaller ship um, you should be able to get in and get it. Or alternatively if you have collector limpets it should be a lot easier. But I'm just gonna try to pick this one up and push it out of the way so I can now go and get it with my uh, my cargo scoop. So once you picked up your ancient key, you should have received a message together with the um, together with scanning the orb. But I must have deleted mine by accident doing the uh, doing the live stream at some point, I guess. Um, and I didn't get a new one. But um, I'll put up a screenshot of it here so we can see what the message looked like. And that basically redirects you to a new guardian uh, structure, surface based structure thing. So. Um, in my case, on the message I got, it was in uh, the system here, Sunofe EU-QC21-15. It's going to be in the message, but I'm going to put this system in the description as well. And um, so now let's head out there. So finding the site itself should be pretty straightforward. Um, it shows up in the navigation panel, so just fly there and land. The next steps are kind of the same as with the other sites, where you have to go and charge up all the pylons. But before you do that, do remember to uh, at your ship go and transfer the ancient key that you have over and uh, there we go so that you have it in your SRV cargo and once you've charged all the pylons and you've taken care of all the sentinels and there is a lot of sentinels here um, I'll just briefly show where the pylons are as usual we have two here right next to the altar which is one end of the base 
And then at the other end of the base, you continue down this long um, main structure here. You have two right at the end, and on either side here, you also have two pylons. So that's where the six pylons are, which you again, of course, need to uh, to charge. And this is where you would normally park over the spot and then dump a uh, relic. But in this case, we're going to dump an ancient key. There we go. The device activates and just as before, the globe comes up and we can scan that. Um, so of course you will need a key per, uh, per scan you need. So if you want to unlock all three fighters, that is three keys because you only gain a single um, a single unit of data per successful scan. So you need to do this three times if you need to unlock all three fighters. And there we go, Guardian Vessel Blueprint segment. So that's per all there is to it. I really hope you found today's video informative and useful. If you did, give it a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, I'll see you guys in space.